to me, Swanye means everything. It means everything to me, literally. I admire her hustle. She's definitely a fighter. That's just in her DNA. She is extremely loyal and she is fun. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. she is just a fun person. And oh, she, that's more than two words. A beautiful black queen. That's it. You know what I mean? It describes it all. You know what I mean? She's beautiful. She's beautiful in the inside and out. You know what I mean? You know, black, she, she inherits that real good, all the way to the top. And then queen, she's shining like a queen already, so why not, you know what I mean, accept it, you know? Facts. I learn from her every day. Motivate, she's motivating people. Look at Ashley, look what she's doing. Look what she has done already, because she's still going. Uh, she's a renaissance woman. From her journey, she's definitely, from being involved with a lot of artistic aspects of life and then making a transition to now being involved into a lot of, I say like community humanitarian aspects of life. She doesn't give herself enough credit. I think she's definitely, we're all our own like toughest critics. I think she's constantly, you know, present in, okay, what she has to do for her clients that day, but she doesn't give herself enough credit from, you know, actually like the week. I think Ashley is probably one of the one of the most hardworking people I know and she's very passionate about what she does and you could just see you could see her drive. She's not an ordinary girl. I mean there's too many aha moments for me to tell you but just like I'm like wow is that my kid? You know <laughs> different won't leave my mind. I'm trying to look for a different word but it's not different is one of them indifferent in the sense that not in the negative sense you know but just in everything as it pertains to art and thought and hustle and business and it's just, it's gonna be different i feel like as long as i'm affecting people and people are able to say like that i help them in some way then i'm okay you know and i do that more than not so that's why i'm okay with me no matter what anybody else says Ashley has come through so many times for me. It's been so many times. I see the big picture. I see what's gonna, you know, I see her with multiple shops, you know what I mean? I see her in different areas, but different areas that's needed by her, you know, not just the area that's just gonna see her flourish, you know, get bigger and stuff, but that's gonna help grow. So she's managing her money and she's budgeting and she's traveling and she's doing all these amazing things. And I said, Ash, do you realize how far you've come? Wow, this is the same little girl who would spend her lunch money all in one day, mm -hmm. and now she's budgeting. Oh, you've come so far, mm -hmm. so very far. Mm -hmm. One time I went over there, and my girls can see when I'm having a bad day, it's all in my face, and then she said, let's pray. And I never prayed with her till that day. This was a couple years ago. I mean, I prayed with her, but like, just me and her. And the things she was saying, I was just like, taken aback, I was like, wow, this is my kid right here. That really made me happy, actually. I admire that maturity and that grind and that hunger. And then essentially like, but all the while still know how to be gentle in that process. Because with different things being said about you, I think it's kind of easy to sometimes to have like a cold heart, but she doesn't. I just see her just just being just being a teacher you know what I mean she wants everybody to to succeed in they in their field you know what I mean if it is hair or if it is you know uh, uh, theatrical or you know you know if it's over there you know being a photographer or something you know whatever it's gonna whatever your whatever gets you going she wants to see that like amplified I feel I feel um really comfortable coming in here. Um, I, I host an open mic with her once a month and um, just being able to bring the type of atmosphere that 
I wanted it for the open mic, like this was ideal setting. Cause she's like, this already the atmosphere she creates and anything that she allows to come in here is always like a, a positive, peaceful kind of environment. She connects people. The open mic nights, the people that come, you know, they're kind of, some, some people are shy, some people don't want to share, but some people just come just for her, just to say, look, we support you. The walls, the colors, the music, you know, the people that are coming in, the hairstyles, the creativity that's flowing in the space, that it's kind of like, yeah, we're from, you know, outside might be a little rough, it might not look that great, but when you come inside, it's it's full of all this, like, like creative expression and this beauty. Mm -hmm. And I think that gives people permission awesome. when they walk in too. They're like, okay, well, you know, oh, well, I actually like doing dancing. I like doing choreography. Like people can voice their own interests and their own like hobbies and passions that they mm -hmm. want to carry on forward and feel like they, they could, because they know her, because they know this, this girl from the city who has a shop in the heart of the city, who's doing it. She is the Vogue of California. Like yeah. she is. Lit. Like people better wake up and realize that to be in that magazine is really important because that means that you have had your hair blessed by a wonderful woman. So I think I congratulations to her on her magazine, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But to have her own catalog, that's legendary. I think it's really good. I think it's great expression. I think it's a great way to get people in the community involved to um, showcase San Bernardino, to showcase everything. And I, I think it's very inspirational to remind us that nothing is too big, nothing is out of our reach. If we set our minds to it, we can do it. I think that the book is an encouragement to a lot of people because it documents how she has grown from the girl who said she couldn't braid hair to the girl who could do anything. I love her magazines. It's a touchy subject. <laughs> I've always tried to get in her magazines. Oh, she's really pushing her brand. This has her name on it. This isn't somebody else's magazine that she's featured in. She's pushing herself. I think she's a beast for even starting that. Like she's been doing this, what is this, five or six? Yeah, five, fifth year. And like, it was already a big thing for her to have a shot. But for her to be doing the magazine consistently too is just like, wow. Like you're really, like you can see her passion in wanting to display her work in a professional manner is just, it's dope. I see that Sonia has a chance to be historical. You know what I mean? To, to be a memorabilia of San Bernardino's parts. You know what I mean? Make an impact that deep to where it's, it's in the roots, it's stuck. You know what I mean? You can't get it out. You can cut the building down, change the name on the sign, but the roots is already up underneath the foundation. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Swanye Hair Studio and Barbershop. Yay! God has a lot planned for me. When I started beauty school, I didn't have a car. My first shop I worked in, I didn't have a car. I used to walk to work every day. And I was also homeless when I started beauty school. And now I have my own spot. And he just showed me time after time, like, you got so much going for you. Just keep keep listening to me, keep putting me first, and everything's gonna fall into place. My life is about way more than just me. It's crazy how a client could come in and look one way and then get their hair done and look totally different when they leave. And I just love that aspect of it because people, you get to see their confidence go up. You get to see them look one way, then spin around and be a whole nother person. So, you know, like, that's always been one of my favorite things. That's always been one of my favorite things, just transforming people. To me, Swanye means everything. It means everything to me, literally. It means everything to me because in the roof of Swanye, and I say the roof of Swanye, Swanye Hair Magazine, Swanye Hair Studio, Swanye Barbershop, Swanye across the board is something, it's a place where I want people to come, feel comfortable, feel family oriented, and feel like you know you're gonna get a good service. And just to feel welcomed and to feel like they can open up and they can show whatever art that they have, whatever it is that they do, they can express to the to the highest form and they don't have to worry about judgment or about anything else like that. It's just like growth, basically. Mm -hmm. Growth and positivity. <laughs>